Right, welcome back everyone! I am Evil Tim, and let us see what else remains around the decay of this colossal wreck. Is no longer in custody, he escaped. He will continue to fight the He's only got one lip. That the German government has developed the um, for a new where did this come from? Is this like some stupid Pip-Boy? According to uh, the German plot, it's a one-kiloton bomb, which is sort of like throwing a hand grenade into the middle of Wembley Stadium and expecting it to kill everybody. Also, does he live in that television? President Stevenson called Donnelly's charges, quote, ridiculous hearsay from a known traitor. Now give me all of your sausage rolls, blog, blog, blog. In the 1950s, wow, that's like one less aircraft carrier. Uh, we'll see if anyone remembers voting for him in a minute. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. We're killing the president? Anyone got a problem with that? Hell no. You said it yourself. Okay, so to prove that nobody voted for him, here's his election poster. What? Now then, I'm gonna need one demolitions team, three assault squads, two on suppression. Is anyone gonna actually go into the building? You're the best shot. Make us proud. I will make this face. Yeah, and after we've taken out the White House, we're gonna attack the Blue House. Bears shouldn't live in houses. Right, so, black screen, Carson has uglied the screen into failure, and so now we are going to drive through the mists and fog of doom. Hey, Dad, you should let Mom drive. Maybe she won't hit all the potholes. Be quiet, Bender. <laughs> yeah, I agree with him for once. Wow, they've taken away all of its polygons. How could anyone do this? It's a scary and terrible thing, I'm sure. So, let's pull in here and do the oldest trick in the book really badly. Yes, we're going to do the old gun behind the papers, and he's apparently so fascinated by the papers that uh, he doesn't notice that happening go, completely boys. within let's his move. view. So, let's clamber out and then loading screen. The MP50 has a built-in flashlight that can come in handy in dark areas. It's also a signal to the AI, please throw grenades at me. That's why I don't use it very often, you see. Also because it's really, really crap and doesn't provide much light. But anyway, let us sally forth upon this night's plutonian shore. You pretentious knob. Shut up. Right, so, because the Thompson is so completely useless, we are going to instead have to use the M1911 type pistol here. We will take these men out, and we will note that uh, these uh, silly gun shield things from the previous level are actually just sort of ridiculous duck-in-and-out uh, barricade things for men to hide behind, and that is all they are for. You will notice the searchlights there, which a competent game would allow you to shoot, but this game will not allow you to shoot. They are invulnerable. We can merely admire them as they sweep around and grenades will be thrown at us in a useless manner. So, we've got a lot of Germans to take out and lots of exploding barrels to take out too. It's kind of embarrassing when the pistol is, uh, has better range than the SMG, really. So, uh, I said, we're going to try and take this guy out, but we are going to fail repeatedly. So, let's wiggle that around and then shoot him for trying to hide behind his ineffectual contraption. Let's take out these barrels over here, because surely that will take out the man in the wind. No, it won't. Yes, because there's no way that explosion would flow in through the window, after all. Yes, they've constructed a generic bunker. Th oh, look! There's the roof of the Supreme Court on the Treasury Department. Well, I guess it's just late. Well, anyway, let's make our way over here now, through this generic Normandy-type level, with bunkers and things. It will be marvellous. No, it bloody won't. Uh, and yeah, that's basically what's going on here, is that we've got the White House level, but we've got this uh, World, World War II bunker level just tacked onto the front of it in a haphazard manner. So let's reload our pistol again, and then we will avenge ourselves upon these Nazis, who are scrabbling around, not really being particularly effective, and now we will finally get rid of that pistol and get ourselves a rifle, which we will use. You Sir, I'm going to rifle through your pockets and take your stuff. That will include your submachine gun, presumably, or maybe not, I don't know. So there's the machine gun there, and we have slain the Nazi foe. Now we will have to just quickly go around here and grab as much ammunition for the MP50 as we can, because once again it's the only gun the game is interested in giving us any ammo for. So we'll go over here, grab another one of these, and then we will reload it like a man would. There we go wiggling around with our charging type handle, we are now fully charged and ready for more combat, which the game will furnish us with shortly. So, through here we go, and up at these stairs to find men who are trying to handle these searchlights, and when you kill them, the searchlights stop moving. Let's run over here and avoid that grenade, and then gun him down so that he jerks upwards. He apparently blew up his friend, too. That's very unfriendly of him. So, down, back down the stairs we go, and we now have to use those stupid bombs again. Hurrah! Because they were so fascinating the first time. And, yeah, so, 
So, no grass on this grass, I guess. It's all made of astroturf. A modern Nazi-type development. They have astroturfed the White House lawn. That's mean of them. And they've got a map of America here. You'd think they probably have, like, a map of Washington, D.C. or the local area or something like that. But, uh, no, apparently they have a map of the whole of America. I guess to remind them that uh, Washington is not actually in Washington, which is the traditional jape that the Americans play upon foreigners. So, let us wire up our bomb once again. I mean, look at this thing. The only thing missing off it is the word Acme. So, we'll now twizzle these around. So, uh, to turn these, what you actually have to do is rotate the analog stick, which is why they're so wiggly and silly, as I do it. So, let's wire up this last one here. And also, given that it explodes if you, get the con if you put the wrong contact on, um, wouldn't it be kind of hazardous to uh, carry it with all of the wires exposed? I don't know. Let's back away from this before we find out the answer to that question. And then we will detonate it and it will simply vanish. Spectacular. So, onward we go into more trenchety type action. We've got our Tompkinson here, and we are going to use it to destroy all of our foes. Look, there's one of those FG-44 carbines. We'll be back for that later, I'm sure. But for now, there are more machine guns, and there are lots of lights around here to not really help us see anything. So I will take out this man way off in the distance whom you can't see. I can see him, though. I can see him because I have played this game before, and I know where he is. Is, and that's really the only way you can see him, is to look into the past of your prior experience. So, we've got to get rid of these two machine guns which are pointing in this direction in a very tactically sound manner. And you'd think when you've got a building that has commanding views of everywhere, you would not just dig trenches all around it and then position machine guns and bunkers pointing in random directions. You would, like, put, I don't know, machine guns on the roof or something like that. Something sensible, but no. Uh, maybe they were just planning to uh, fill these trenches with piranhas. No water, just piranhas. That's probably their dastardly Nazi trick, so we must stop them from doing that by taking out all of their machinery guns, like this, by ejecting massive, silly casings in the random manner. Load that back up again, tweak that, and then we will kill off this man here, finally. Hooray! He is defeated. All of our foes have been defeated now. So we'll reload that again. Now, I'm actually going to start doing some of the instant kill animations here, and usually I don't bother with that because, well, they're basically totally pointless. If you can get up to a guy, you might as well just use the grapply attack on him because that gives you free ammo and free health. And look, there's some silly reflecty things here. Apparently they've dug down into the water table or it's been raining or something. I don't really know about that. So let's have a look over here. There's guys over there lemminging their way around, and there's some more blokes up here that they're probably running away from. So let's take out this exploding barrel that they may not use it against us. Reload this once more. The cement mixers here as well. I don't know why they've got those. These bunkers are prefabricated. It's silly of them. Is it? Uh, um, I don't know what that is. It's doing a bit of a home front on us, I think. These two games have an awful lot in common. Uh, emphasis on awful. So, let's uh, run through here and see if we can find any more Germans. There's a Germans. You, sir, you're a Germans. I'm going to run away from you because I don't approve of that. Not one bit. Reload that and then turn around. Wheel around and defeat him. He wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's one of ours. So I shot him anyway because he's invulnerable. And he doesn't mind. He's got lots of papers here that we can't read. In a machine gun bunker. Why would you be doing paperwork in a machine gun bunker? I'm not aware. So I have to jump up here to pick up that FG-44 carbine, of course, because just walking up to it is not sufficient. Is not enough. Not enough for the likes of us. And they're using a hand grenade as a paperweight here. But we've already got full hand grenades, so we don't need that. So, down here we go, and we've got to go and explode another one of those walls. Even though we could probably just, like, you know, blow it up. That guy had one of those rockety launchers, after all, in the briefing screen. So why aren't we using that to destroy these barriers? Well, no idea. So anyway, let's go down here and drop down and we see that when you fall you actually get the grenade damage effect show up for some reason. Got an MP50 and here's another one of these fantastical bombs. Don't worry, this is the last one. So let's put that wire in and twirdle it in a manly manner. There we are. And then we will have to attach this wire. You're fascinated. This is the greatest game design you've ever seen in your life, isn't it? And then this one. Hide the loading screen. No one will ever see it under this. So, that's that one, and then we can switch on the bomb and bugger off before it blows off our niddlies. Around here we go again, through the spotlights of flooding, and then here we are. It... Go on. That bomb kind of hesitated there, didn't it? Right, so there's the White House there. We're nearly there. All we've got to do is make our way through one more of these stupid areas.
Well, you haven't given me any support already, I so I don't see how that's going to change You're anything. Yes, I'm going in alone because I haven't just defeated like half the Wehrmacht alone, so that's going to be difficult for me. So, once more grenades are thrown and we walk onto them, because it doesn't affect us. We are a strong man. Now, I'm kind of worried about trying to take out the President because our name is Carson. That's one name, and I'm fairly sure that you need to have three names to have any chance of taking out the President. Because, you know, John Wilkes Booth, Lee Harvey Oswald. And, of course, Reagan was saved when a member of the Secret Service pointed out that Junior isn't actually a third name. And so, uh, he was defeated in his attempt. So, anyway, let's have a look over here. There's a guy on a machine gun on top of a vehicle over there. They're pulling out all the stops now. Vehicles with machine guns. Now, if it only moved around, this might be interesting, but no, there's just a whole horde of Nazis here. So this um, crosshair we've got here is the sort of thing you'd put on a shotgun, not on a rifle you actually expect to hit anything with. Uh, never mind that, I guess the Nazis knew what they were doing because they've managed to conquer the entire universe. So uh, there's another one of those, and then we can make our way through this uh, lots of inexplicable wooden barricades again. I don't know why they've got this old barricade thing going on here. It's kind of pointless, really. And, oh, we've exploded. That's mean. So, reload that, and then we will have to uh, deal with... Uh, okay, they're having a... Wasn't there a gunfight just like that in Naked Gun? I don't know. But anyway, let's run over here with our rifle, and we'll have to defeat all these machinery guns. There's one now. You, sir, you're a machine gun. I'm going to destroy you. Yeah, can I will not, sir? Oh. Well, that didn't work out for him at all. So, I believe there's one more, but firstly, more Nazis. And stuff is just vanishing now. That guy's apparently won his epic duel with his foe there, and he's still hiding. He fears that his foe will come back any time. Ready for more combat and more warfare. So, there's guys here hiding behind exploding barrels, and... You know, why have they just built all these, like, weird rickety structures here? They're, like, no sandbags or anything. There's this, like, odd little guard tower we can't even go up in. And whatever that is. I have no idea what's going on anymore. It's not really an effective means of defending anything. So, that out of the way, let us uh, cease our puzzlement at that, and then we'll make our way over here where there is a truck parked. But that does not concern us in the least. There's crates as well. Wondrous. So, let's pick up all of this stuff here, and then, uh, now that we have finished scumbagging around for ammo, I'm going to go and back and have a look at that in a minute, because there's weirdness about that, too. If you uh, go back and look at it, you find out it's sunk. Someone's tossed a grenade at us in a very antisocial manner, and there's one of our guys again. I don't know exactly what the uh, what the lemming-friendly AI is doing here, apart from sort of jogging around in a silly fashion, but, um... Never mind. We defeated them. That has apparently sunk. Uh, maybe it's just the ground's too wet, and it hasn't got a back door, which means apparent. I would guess that everybody has to climb over either the commander or the driver and get through the side doors, which is not very well designed. The real one has a back door, but of course that would be too difficult for them to design, I suppose. So through here we go, and we've got to make our way up here and make sure there's no Nazis lurking around who would inconvenience us and then drop down through here. I, I don't know why I'm ignoring all the uh, Gevier 47s. I guess it's because I wanted to use the FG-44 instead. Uh, incidentally, the reason why the ammo drops are so crappy in this game, this was uh, found out due to the Xbox Live type trial. I don't know what the hell that thing is. And Oh, we can activate something. Get the chair, maybe? Oh! Can, oh teleporting machine gun. Awesome. Uh, the reason is apparently that uh, during the Xbox Live type trial thing, people complained that the grapple attack was useless, and so Spark Unlimited, in their highly limited wisdom, decided it would be a really great idea to just reduce the ammo drops and make you use it. Because that's what people meant, of course. So, we are going to run along here. Go, Carson, your the sacrifice will never area. be remembered. I mean, forgot. So right. The demolitions team, can move in. The demolitions team is just two people, by the way. Alright, so let's go in here and we'll use one of those instant kill type attacks that they were so bloody proud of. Right, there's a man lurking around over here. Where are you, sir? I'm going to grasp you, and then I'm going to... I guess he hadn't been well. Yeah, they're all like that. There's one of them where you can headbutt a man wearing a helmet and he'll die. So, let's take out these guys over here who are in an elevator and... A carnivorous elevator, apparently. It has now slaked its thirst for blood. And this is one of Turning Point's infamous elevators. Button, button, who's got the button? Well, apparently the control panel hasn't got the button. No, instead, the, um... Hello? 
The light has got the button, yes. This is why everyone thinks the elevator and tower bridge is broken. So, we have made our way. We're now in the White House. Hooray! It only took us about 15 minutes. So, that man's trying to tie up his shoelaces, but that's not on at all. So, we will gun him down. And then we've got to go and save the Constitution, apparently. It's not actually the Constitution, as we will see in a minute. There's an achievement for this, um, uh, but you don't get achievements, of course, in the uh, PS3 version. So let's go in here and uh, take part in an extremely tasteful joke. You, sir, you already know where this is going, don't you? Right, so yes, we knock him out and we push him into the incinerator. You see, it's funny because of the Holocaust. That is despicable. Right, so let's pick this thing up. Mm, in Congress, that's not the Constitution. That's the Constitution. And that's the Bill of Rights. This, on the other hand, is this thing, the Declaration of Independence. They don't even know what the Constitution looks like, so let's pick that up. And that would get you the uh, Dolly Madison Award, I believe it's called. This thing has some wonderful achievements. There's uh, one for getting ten headshots in a row, which is great in a game with famously bad hit detection. It's virtually impossible. And there is another one uh, for getting 2,500 kills in multiplayer, just to try and make you buy the game if you're boosting for achievements. Let's throw him into that television as revenge for that stupidity. There's a dumb waiter there. This game does assume you know what a dumb waiter is, too. Right, so we've got some more Nazis prancing around in there. Prancy Nazis. So, we have blown them up now. They are defeated. Now we must merely defeat these radio-operating type Nazis, and then we will have taken over the basement with explosions and gunfire galore. So, we've defeated all of them, and now we have got to look at the... Did snap-on tools really exist back then? I don't know. We've got that, and we've got this... Some random wood and acetylene cylinders and... Whatever that is. I have no idea. And they got a radio, too. They're listening to the radio, those naughty men. So let's go back into the kitchen here. And then we will find some men who will have bombs. Uh, exact... Hey, Carson. Do we really think that these two guys with bombs are going to be enough to destroy the entire White House? Are we, are we actually going along with that? I don't know. So, around here we go, following these silly men, and then we will have to uh, watch a brief cutscene as they set boxes down in a fascinating manner. Oh, and then stop. Time to the White House and we blow it up. Well, it certainly blows. Okay, and that guy over there is going to place the bomb, and then he is going to turn it, as you do. But unfortunately, Nazis happen. Oh no. So let's throw a grenade at them, and then everything will explode. And, uh, yeah, I think I think we did indeed actually just kill our teammate, but uh, it seemingly doesn't matter. So let's give him a good roasting, and then we have defeated the Nazis. Unfortunately, we have also destroyed the Jellyvator, so there is no way up for us, or so you might think. So we've broken the Chaos Engine there, and now we've got all these guys lying... Oh, they've gone. You know, most games at least try to hide people unspawning, but, uh, yeah, that's what they're going to destroy it with, apparently, just a bunch of C4 blocks. And now some more Nazis have infiltrated the kitchen in an unknown manner, so let's throw a grenade at them. Unfortunately, they were protected by one of those solid metal shelving units, and thus have not been defeated in the slightest. So we're going to have to use our bullets on them instead, because they are much better than grenades. So let's get rid of them, and that guy's vanished. Well, a lot of guys vanish in this level. It's very strange of them. So he passes out, apparently. And like, he's supposed to be watching the television there. So, never mind all of that. Let us now go up into the dumbwaiter. Here we go. There it is. Let's make our way in. All right, you ready? Yep, I suppose. Because I don't speak. Right, so up we go, and we will find another man watching the television. So, we will have to destroy him too, because it is an American television. And that is not on in the slightest. You, sir, stop watching Oprah. It's bad for you. It's bad for your ways. So, again, we will instant kill him by throwing him noggin first into the TV. And that, that actually hurts us, apparently. It's the world's explodiest television. So, oh, there's a gunfight. But it's not actually in here. So, anyway, let's go in here and we'll throw a grenade in here to take care of these guys and they will all be destroyed. Right, that guy's going to have a bit of a... A bit of a phenomenon, and this guy, on the other hand, is going to. Uh, you know, this is. That is not the time for this sort of thing. What a weirdo. Damn furnishing fetishists. Always having strange things. That guy's head has turned into a potted plant. It's all go here. Meanwhile, in this room, Nazis are walking along banisters because they are afraid of the carpet. They are afraid it will devour them as it did their comrades earlier. So we'll gun them down. The room will have a good old steam. And that man there has apparently shagged himself into oblivion. Oh, what a terrible fate. Well, at least he died happy, I suppose. Meanwhile, that's apparently one of our guys. So uh, we should probably shoot him slightly less. And over here, we will find one of these glorious chairs here, which is apparently made of STS steel and bolted the floor. My god, the door has locked itself. It's wicked. There we go. So that's all you can do to that chair. 
Meanwhile, over here, we will find a Nazi who has a plan. There we go. Can't see me. My eyes are closed. I am invisible. Ha <laughs> ha. Not the greatest plan in the world. And now the game will crash. No, it will just load a bit. But where is all this steam supposed to be coming from? What is going on here? Are they trying to convert the White House into a sauna? Is that their plan? Is that why they captured it with their... Oh, we destroyed the banisters above them. You see, the grenade can do that, but it can't, like, kill somebody right in front of it half the time. I know, so we've got to take point, and uh, point is up here, I've decided. So let's have a quick look around here. There are lots of uh, dead people lying around, and there is a Hitler there, looking over America, which he has conquered. So they've hung Nazi flags everywhere as well, because once again, that's much more important than shipping ammunition or weapons here. And there's another Hitler there. Is this just in case they forget who's in charge or something? Uh, no. So uh, let's get rid of him and then we will wiggle around and reload our weaponry once again. And down this hallway. I'm fairly sure this exact hallway appeared in uh, Modern Warfare 2 as well, but um, no, no one's yelling uh, Ramirez at me, so I don't really know. Uh, let's see if we can take out that guy over there. Meanwhile, this guy will run forwards and then steam will erupt from all of the places. We're going out into a garden. We're going to deal with some horticultural destruction upon these people. Yes. So, reload that once again, and that guy has been corpsified. Meanwhile, this guy is taking cover behind a window frame, which is a remarkably effective tactic, it turns out, because these window frames are made out of armored things. So, once again we do that, and then we will go outside and check it for Nazi men. There's one. I saw him trying to bugger off, but he will not succeed at that. We have defeated him once again, and then there are more people at the other end. Apparently one of them decided to run back again. Now, if we can cross over this rubble here, but uh, we can't cross over the much smaller pile of rubble there, of course, because that would make lots of sense. Yeah, it's um, it's very inconsistent rubble here. I guess that this rubble has a, is uh, fitted with an access ramp or something. So over here, no, none of these Nazis will be allowed to sit upon these uh, s these chairs here. These are our chairs, and we will defend them to the death. So he has a seizure, and that is the end of him, sir. So where are we going now? We are going to the president-type room, uh, to the president's presidenting room. This is a room full of lamps and stuff. I bet there will be combat here later. But there's something important for us to go and look at through here. First, he see uh, there is a uh, briefcase here and some documents and in a better game that might actually mean something. But you notice like all the cupboards and wardrobes are closed and that will uh, I guess become important later. Uh. Oh good, our reflections are being just as accurate as before. There's, uh, there's two pillars there apparently in the, in the reflection of that window there. Uh, there's two pillars over there, but uh, it's reflected in every single window once again. It's spectacular and I am unduly fascinated by it. Yes, the me of a couple of years ago just loved these damn pillars. They were great. Okay, so we are, we'll are we look around for these pillars, but they are not there. I was baffled, but I was even more baffled by that. Good grief. Apparently the, the White House just, like, devours Nazis. I guess they don't have enough freedom in them. You'll notice down here there is a wardrobe, and that is the only thing through here. There is no way that anyone could possibly be in this room. That will become important in a moment. But anyway, now that we've done that, let's walk past these potted plants, and yet again, these bloody pillars, they're following us around. There is another dimension around here somewhere which has loads of pillars in it. There is an Acropolis in it or something like that, so... The president is hiding a couple of rooms away here, and I have had to add subtitles here because the game didn't, which was marvellous of it. So, that guy throws a grenade at us, and it explosions us. Yes, here we go. And hopefully these subtitles will show up. This first one usually doesn't. Yes, you've done such a bang-up job of that. We fight alone against an insidious enemy, an enemy who would destroy the Commonwealth, who would have our nation crumble from within. No, that's someone else. On everyone! So what, you're going to kill the entire population of America? America is united by love. Oh, we'll kill them! Alright, that's enough of that bullshit. Let's go in. Right, and apparently they have decided to furnish the White House with a brand new evil rug. No, don't shoot. Please, don't shoot. What is it you want? 
You're one of those resistance fighters, right? I'd you like to part in this script. Yes, I can. To make sure that we retain uh, what freedom Americans are used to. The Germans don't have to be our enemies. You see, much like in Homefront, this would work if the Germans weren't completely America. bloody evil. Have you ever stop to think about the corruption in this country? How the rich get richer and the poor man be damned? The dead are all equal, yeah. so my the plan is brilliant. I'm working for the people. Our people, the dead people. people. Evil people. Maybe this was just a big mistake. I yes, maybe understand. this entire game was just a big maybe mistake. Sit down and talk. Like civilized men. Maybe oh, your hand just stopped turning into a spider. Good lord. You, or whomever your boss is. I'll pin you in my calendar right now. Is everyone ready for the worst idea ever? Yes, he's got... Oh my god, he has a pistol. Now you actually have to wait for him to do that because otherwise you'll knock him down into his chair and hit... Wow. His heart must have given out. You knock him into his chair, he'll knock his chair into you, and... Angelo, how are you guys looking at? How the hell is this guy talking to me? I've got, like, an inv invisible 30-pound radio on my back or something. But, yeah, okay, we've got some static going on here. There's G-Wash over there. He's not Hitler. I guess he can inspire even Nazis. Alright, so, yeah, the static here behaves a bit weirdly, as we will see when we walk around here. I'm really, really not sure that this is how a projection television works, but, um... Yeah... Also, what was on there to begin? Never mind, let's start off. Right, so, now that we have done that, there is a uh, chair with a gun there, so we will run away from that before it attacks us, because it is surely the deadliest thing ever. Apparently these men have all climbed out of the wardrobe, so apparently the war has spread to Narnia. So, let's throw this over here to deal with that, and uh, we'll find that the Nazis have done that as well. So, we've blown them all up somehow. That's the most effective grenade I've used in this game so far, I think. It actually killed things. So, we've got rid of all of those guys there, and we'll take their weaponry for that. And and meanwhile, all the guys out here... It's doing that bloody crowd noise again, isn't it? I don't know why. There's like one guy here. Oh, okay, so he's dead. He apparently makes the sound like a football crowd all by himself. So, grenade goes over there, and everything explodes. Hooray! All of those dynamite lamps are defeated. They will deny them all of these things. So, uh, that's broken. So what, they all climbed out of that cupboard or something? I don't know. So, let's carry on around here. Yes, the Nazis are trying to annex Narnia. Aslan will have none of it. So, now that we have got rid of them and all of these are lying defeated in a heap, we're going to go back that way because that would be silly, so instead we're going to go this way. You see, look, all the cupboards are open now. That's where they were hiding the whole time. We'd make a joke about closet cases here, but it would be much, much too easy and much, much too cheap, even for me. So, let's gun this fellow down here for that instead. And there's, uh, there is there is my grandfather's clock over there, which is too tall for the shelf, and thus it stands on the floor. So, you, sir, you also need to stand on the floor, because you are too tall for any shelf. Right, that's that dealt with. And now we will get past these damaged sofas, damaged and yet still able to resist us, because they are, of course, White House sofas. They are patriotic. But that is not enough to save them from the coming explosion. So we got rid of those guys there, and in a minute you are going to see one of the little issues with dealing with a video that you recorded years ago, which is the fact that uh, sometimes I try to draw attention to things and I have to remember what the hell I'm trying to do, and I really can't here, I'm afraid. they have got a shotgun here. Now, the Nazis never actually used shotguns, and indeed uh, Germany tried to, in World War One tried to uh, get the Allies done for war crimes over it, because they felt that they were very mean to jump into trenches with a shotgun. So, uh, I must find it rather dubious that these Nazis are using them. So, yeah, apparently they've taken down all the uh, paintings as well. I don't really know why. But, yeah, I don't know what I was trying to draw your attention to there, and I'm extraordinarily sorry for that. But now these men are going to try and lean around a doorframe. It's their final tactic, but they forgot the firing bullets part, and thus their tactic is in vain. So, around the corner we go, and this man has something much more powerful planned. He has a deadly armoured sofa, which will deal with all of our bullet tree, but, and, and he will blind fire over it in a manner that only an AI with infinite ammo would actually do. It's a good way to remind you that you're playing a computer game. In fact, really, when the AI does that a lot, you might as well just hang big banners off the scenery saying you are playing a computer game. So, now we've got our FG-44, which I saved for this exact moment, because all of these men now have sofas, my god. And that guy is playing peekaboo like a child would, so let us gun him down, as we would not do to a child, unless they were a very naughty child, I suppose, in which case, it would be disciplinary of us. And he... I, I don't know. And uh, that guy, meanwhile, in his dreams, he chases rabbits. But that's not enough to save him. He will plunge up... Um, 
I don't think that was working quite the way he thought it would. Yes, he wasn't really in cover there. So, let's deal with that uh, vague shadow over there, which has gunfire coming out of it, because I feel that must be a German shadow. We'll then get rid of this guy too, and he too will plunge. Yay, there he goes. And now that chair is going to try something on with us as well, but it was all in vain. Well, I guess that guy's like really dedicated to this whole ambush thing, so uh, let's see if we can ruin his ways. Right, so that guy is now hiding behind the only intact banister, and we can't have that, so he's out of it too, and we are nearly out of the White House. We have almost escaped this place. I don't know how Carson kills people with one punch. I guess maybe he, he understands the knowledge of pressure points or something. He's like Xena. So, let's gun that guy down as well, because we don't know of it. We'll have a look around for ammo, for reasons which escape me, because we are about to escape here. And then we'll walk towards this door. We yeah, that was a brilliant idea. Thanks for almost killing me. And this door is made of best BBC styrofoam. Marvelous. So, let's escape from the White House so that we can see it blow up atrociously. There we go, let's pull out of here, and because we set bombs in the basement of the White House, it makes perfect sense that immediately the top and sides of it explode. Of course. And then, um, explosion effects will kind of happen, I guess. Yeah, they're really proud of this. It's kind of pathetic, really. So anyway, that is that, and that has been the White House. I have been Evil Tim, and this has been Turning Point for Liberty. Now back in the White House.